In today's episode of my walkabout world with a full world download, I'm gonna show you how to build a beautiful medieval tavern. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And welcome to another episode from me, Other Man's In My Walkabout World series. This is the series where after every episode, I download the entire world that has everything I have done in it so far. Last week was this wild hobbit hole that we did that's got loads of decoration, all kinds of things going on inside. But this week, oh look, episode five that way if you're interested. And that was episode six. Episode seven is this way. And we've got to follow all the way around a little bit of extra kind of detailing around there with a melon pumpkin and wheat farm but all the way around the outside of the hobbit hole episode seven is down this road here what are we going to find and unsurprisingly we have got a whole load of nothingness going on at the end of the road but we're going to change that now in the legacy smp server as i record this i've just started building a medieval building and what it's going to become is a tavern and i know loads of people j west being an obvious one has asked me to do a pub slash tavern on this build and this is what we're going to do today so i'm going to just around here start to build up a little bit of an area to get this tavern going i don't want it to be flat i might just build ever so slightly raised platform kind of maybe there there so as it goes up one possibly even two blocks let's get on with it so again relatively freestyle but this is the sort of palette we think we're going to be using here plenty of stone lots of wood including a lot of dark wood and some various other bits and pieces too let's get on with it now I didn't want too big a dirt platform here. I just wanted to have a little bit of shape to the ground so it didn't look quite so flat underneath the tavern. So just made a very small mound with one single layer going up and a second layer just in a small area. I then laid out the template for the legs of this particular building and I made sure that the top of those legs were all at the same level even though the bottom wasn't. That's the shape that I was talking about earlier. Texturing up all of those blocks with moss towards the bottom and then cleaner blocks of stone going up towards the top levels. Also built in a bit of a chimney on the side that will grow as this building grows. Put in a door to the underside. This isn't going to be the main entrance, but it will be a way of getting into the inside of the building. And then I textured up inside with a reasonable floor. in a staircase to go to the second level which will be the primary entrance for this building just build it out of cobble because most of it won't be seen I started the second layer with the traditional overhang that you get in a medieval build. I then realized that where I put the internal staircase just wasn't gonna work, so I moved it to the opposite corner of the second floor entrance. So we've done quite a lot already and the shape of this building is starting to come together. We've got a lot more detail to put into this yet. This is just a skeleton, remember. We're kind of building it up and then we're gonna detail it up afterwards. But what I wanna do is to get this white terracotta and build up the walls uh, at least a few more high. But we also need to incorporate the fact that we're gonna bang some windows in here too. So let me just get these on like this. Obviously you need to be very aware that that is gonna be the fireplace. So no terracotta on that bit coming around and around and around right okay so now what we've got here i wonder whether or not i need to 
No, I think we're good. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to put windows in around these here. And they're going to be quite small windows. So I'm just going to grab these. I'm going to pop that there, that there, that there, and that there. Then what I can do is I can grab some more terracotta and I can bring it around, but miss out that. Actually, no, it needs to go there, doesn't it? Because we need to put in some... Have I got any dirt? Yeah, I've got dirt. So we're going to need to put some dirt on top of each of these for the window box. That's going to come up all the way there for the third height. And then that's going to have gaps like that. These windows are going to be too high. Like that. And then we're going to bring the wall around across like that there so that's gonna look let's do one more row like that so that's going to be the look of the wall and then i'm going to get spruce trap door and that spruce trap door is going to go on the front of this dirt like that and i'm also going to get i think this is going to work. Let me just try it on a couple of windows and see. So that's going to go like that. I need some fence, which I think we're going to go for spruce. Let's get rid of that wall there. We'll come for spruce fence there and 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 there. I'm then going to get another spruce trap door there and there like that. And then spruce slab there. So as it gives a slight gable looking effect, we can then get Let's just pick a random flower. I don't know. Let's go for that one. And that can go in like that. And let's say that like that. So that will be kind of the feel. And then what we've also got to do, actually, I need to do a separation here. Otherwise, that's not going to look quite right. Definitely need to get that in. And then we can think about... They can come in like this because we need these walls to be detailed, otherwise they're just not gonna look particularly uh, medieval. And then also like that too. Right, so let's just take it, not like that. Let's just take a step back and see how we're looking now. So that's kind of the way it's going to look where there is a window all the way around. Right, I think we're winning actually. This one's gonna be okay, let's crack on with it. So I continued along with exactly the same design around every window. I've used light grey stained glass in the windows there just to make it so as it's not too see-through, maybe it's a little bit smoke stained or something like that, just to make it look a little bit more authentic. Now over on the entrance side here, I had to change it up just a little bit. I started out by putting in three windows and then I thought that's not going to work because I wanted to put an enclosure on the top of those stairs. So as you come in straight and then turn left to go into the building, but that doesn't work with the window there. So I had to get rid of it completely and just bring that roof against the wall. It was time to do the roof and I thought a long time about what I was going to do with this roof and I decided that what I wanted to do was a double gable. So we've got two roof pitches on the same side and we're going to travel that right along to the other end and bring it in on the other side as well. I also wanted to put a little bit of a different colour to go over the middle of the roof just to break up that dark oak because it is going to be quite strong if it's just solid dark all the way along so that's why i put in that spruce wood steps just on that side
realized it'd be quite nice for that spruce to actually stand out from the roof. So I changed the steps for blocks and then I put some spruce fences in there just to give it a little bit more structure. I then played around with the pitch of the roof to try and make it ever so slightly curved and more interesting on the top. I brought the chimney up, although I think I'm gonna be editing that up a little bit later because it's not quite right. Those gable ends need to continue up with that white terracotta. So I brought that up on both sides and then I started to decorate that up with some dark oak in a kind of V shape, just to give uh, that kind of Tudor-esque style and then put a little bit more detailing in using some steps and also some fence posts in the middle just to break up that white. Did exactly the same on the other end before fiddling up with a little bit more chimneying. I'm still not happy with that chimney. I then realized I needed to play around with the end of that roof because they didn't match on both sides and that just won't do at all. I then just added a little more three-dimensional detail and depth onto the ends here to make sure that the continuous overhang carries on from the top to the bottom. I then added a little bit more detail, just with fence posts and buttons. So most of the house construction is now done. We've got a little bit more detailing to do on the bottom level. I think the detailing on the top is probably done now. But what I want to do is start to landscape out the front here. And this isn't going to be dirt so much. I think this is going to be more likely a more stony front. So we're going to take out all of this and we're going to turn it into cobble. And if I'd have thought ahead, I probably would have done that when I made it, but I didn't. So I've now got to do it again. And I'm going to kind of change this all up. So as it is, so as it's not just cobble, maybe we'll get some various different stones in there as well. And maybe chuck a little bit of coarse dirt. So for example, let's get this kind of paved a little bit like that, maybe something like that. And then pop in some smoother stone as well so you see what i'm trying to do just to make it look like it's a more built up area and we're going to continue this all the way around here so i'm just going to randomly slap in some stone here and this is going to become maybe slightly grassier with the odd path a little bit of coarse dirt let's maybe just pop some coarse dirt in there to remind me that's what i was going to do because this is the area that is going to be, I guess, trampled by the weary traveller than when it comes along. So, and there's going to be kind of progressively less coarse dirt as we go around this area. I think this is kind of what I'm after. So, let's just crack on with that. I wanted the outside to be really quite structured and not soft with all grass etc so with all of this cobble interspersed with some stone brick and just a little bit of coarse dirt and some normal stone I think it brings out a more courtyard feel which is more likely to be outside one of these medieval buildings. <music> Use 
steps inside of all of that um, stone just to give a little bit of a broken up feel. It makes it look a little bit more worn without having bits of dirt stuck out all over the place. I then started out some detailing. Now given that that entrance at the bottom is for things like the drayman where the storage would be, I built a cart that's gonna hold some hay and some barrels just to give a little bit more structure and life to it. I then made a custom lamppost, very similar to the one that I did in the Hobbit hole on both sides of the thing, so as we could have some light for people to come in and see. I then thought bushes was necessary, but far, far less bushes than I use in the past, and also some water troughs. And then, obviously, the custom tree. <laughs> I decided I'd had enough of that chimney and I needed to make it ever so slightly slimmer and slightly less chunky. So I brought it away from the house a little bit further, made it a little bit shorter so it didn't jut up too far and just softened it up a little bit. So we've pretty much done most of what we were gonna do on the outside. We've got carts, we've got trees, we've got lampposts, we've got lots of barrels. This is what a tavern probably would look like in the medieval times, but inside we have done almost nothing. I mean, if I come inside one, it looks really dark. We've got these stairs ready to go up to the second level. We've got the fireplace there, but the floor's not even there for goodness sake. We've put a little bit of light in the corner and I've just put some scaffold with some barrels in it. So we've got some work to do in here. So I'm gonna crack on with this and uh, hopefully we can end up with a really nice looking interior as well. And I reckon we've just about done. So we're gonna come up through the entrance for the customers, which is here. Close the doors just because, I don't know, now let's leave them open because that's what you do in a tavern. Everybody is welcome. So we've got some fairly basic decoration with the windows, shuttered barrels and chests lining around the top there. Up in the rafters, you can see plenty of lighting and a little bit of decoration in the gable ends. A number of little tables for the patrons to come and sit and drink their mead, open fireplace with a big old mantelpiece there, some firewood waiting to be burnt, and a bar that no one's actually serving behind at the minute. Well, maybe they have gone downstairs into the cellar. And this is where all the storage is. We've got hay, we've got water, we've got chests, we've got barrels, all waiting to be used upstairs, coming out. This is where the drayman would do his deliveries through this door here and back to the outside. The outside is fairly classically medieval. We've got all kinds of things going on in the front where people are busy stocking the tavern up. The walls are decorated, multiple small windows, lots of dark wood, plenty of white behind that wood and nice sloping roofs there, quite deeply sloping with some kind of detail over the top just to rib it off and make it look like it is not quite so smooth. The entrance there on the side going up to the first floor rather than the second floor. Bushing all the way around, odd barrels just left randomly about the place where they've been used up. A big old chimney to let all of the smoke out from that living area on the inside and a custom tree just to give it a little bit of life. Genuinely very pleased with how this fella come out. It's a bit different to anything that I've done in the past, but I am going to be doing something very much like it on the Legacy SMP server, and I should be finished it in the next episode that comes out, or maybe the episode after, not sure, because it's quite a lot of work to do in survival. If you've got any really good ideas, hashtag walkabout. Let me know what you think I should be building in this walkabout world. I'm gonna be well downloading it every single time. This is episode seven, and as a result, you get everything through from episode one by downloading this world in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them, and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.